Hello, my name is Marcia Meadows. My I Prefer research project was done at the University of Minnesota, St. Paul, where my internship advisor was Dr. Ratan Chopra. And the title of my research is the validation of seed side variants identified in the University of Minnesota Pennycrest Genetics Program. Although there is an infinite amount of phenotypic traits that could be analyzed, my research hones in on seed size. Seed size plays a key factor in post-harvest handling and processing of field pennycrests. The objective of my research was to confirm seed side variants identified in the past using Floydy and EMS approaches. The exact form of Floydy I was working with is known as a tetraploid. It was introduced to field pennycrests back in 2015 using orizalin, a form of herbicide. The variant was propagated and the traits were passed down to the next generation using single seed descent. Tetraploids were shown to have increased pod fill and overall seed weight, so these phenotypic traits were evaluated. Ethylmethane sulfonate alleles were discovered in 2019 using, using the mutant gene index. For this study, I compared the effects of mutations in Sweet 4 and Sweet 11 genes in comparison to the wild type pennycress. So I first analyzed the stability of tetraploids for their seed pod fill and thousand seed weight. 2020 data was analyzed last year by my lab mate Serena Martinez for her I Prefer project. In accordance with the pod density data, I saw a consistency with the wild type from 2020 through 2021 of having around 13 seeds per pod. However, after analyzing the tetraploids, I saw a slight reduction of pods from the previous year from going around 9 seeds per pod to 8 seeds per pod. In terms of seed weight, wild type field penny crest showed a slight reduction resulting with the 2020 average being around 1.08 grams and the 2021's wild type weighing 0.98 grams. However, the tetraploid still outperformed the wild type, with last year's weighing around 1.63 grams and this year's weighing around 1.51 grams per 1,000 seeds. A t-test was performed and validated these results were significant. I can, consume, I can assume that the differences between 2020 and 2021's data can be attributed to varying climate conditions during the course of this study. Now moving on to the sweet gene mutations. I analyzed the difference between sweet 4 and sweet 11 genes to see if there was major differences between their thousand seed weight and seed pod density in comparison to the wild type MN106. In the 1000 seed weight analysis, I saw the wild type and sweet 11 genes were similar in weight with the wild type weighing 0.93 grams and sweet 11 weighing, weighing 0.96 grams respectively. Sweet 4, however, had a large drop in weight, weighing around 0.74 grams. In terms of seed pod density, there was lesser variance in pod fill, with the wild type averaging 13.45 seeds per pod, Sweet 4 containing 12.86 12 seeds per pod, and Sweet 11 having the least amount at 12.1 seeds per pod. These results were consistent with the reports that validate the findings from the previous year, which are not shown. In conclusion, I was able to validate the stability of this of the traits all the traits mentioned previously, and I was able to confirm genetic control. I would like to give a huge thank you to I Prefer for allowing me the opportunity to be a, a summer research intern and work towards the commercialization of the cash cover crop, Pennycrest. I would also like to thank all the I Prefer collaborating institutions who provided support and funding to this project. I would like to give a huge thank you to Dr. Ratan Chopra for being my internship advisor and giving me guidance throughout the entire summer. None of this would have been possible if it weren't for the help of the individuals listed on the left who aided me throughout my project and gave me guidance throughout the way. Thank you.